The Fort Wayne Children's Zoo is set to open tomorrow. Crews have been working all week to get everything ready, but now Mother Nature has added a few things to the to-do list. Fronky Park, more like Fronky Lake. Those rafts are actually tops of picnic tables. We are in a floodway. On the doorstep of the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, the flood water creating a bonus animal exhibit outside, but some of it finding its way inside. This flooding was not unexpected. This is typical of what we experience at the zoo with the heavy rain. Debris blocked a drain, creating a second pool across the wall from the sea lions. Part of the Australian Adventure has um, some minor flooding there in the floodway. Um, the dingo yard has a little water in it. The kangaroo yard has a little water. The farm area, the hardest hit. I'm sure we are not the only farm in Indiana that's dealing with water problems right now. <laughs> the goats were actually already in the barn when the floodwaters came because of construction on the exhibit. And you can see the original flood water line, so the water is already receding. It's kind of disappointing to have it the day before we open, but we're taking care of it. Crews have been working hard for weeks to get ready. We had just mulched the entire zoo last week. Some of that mulch now displaced on sidewalks and walkways. All the animals are safe and dry. The flooding won't stop opening day, but not every animal will be out. In part because of the flooding and in part because of the very chilly temperatures we're experiencing. Right now, flood water is blocking the entrance to Frankie Park and the zoo. They do think that it will be down by tomorrow and crews are working to help the water subside. But if it's still flooded, there's plenty of parking in the lot right across the street. At the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.